So you've got the perfect Copilot Studio agent scenario. Everyone's excited and you're ready to start building and roll it out, but you're stuck because you have no idea how to get a ballpark estimate of what this thing will cost to roll out. We've all been there and that's exactly why we developed the Copilot Studio Usage Estimator tool. This is a free tool that you can use to forecast your message volume based off of your agent's design. So whether you're a customer, a partner, or a seller, you can model your specific agent scenario and get an idea of how many messages it's going to consume before you start building. Let's walk through how the tool works with an example of an HR onboarding agent. To get to the estimator tool, you'll go to aka.ms forward slash MCS dash estimator. On the left-hand side, you have all the inputs that you need to configure to get your estimate. And on the right-hand side, you'll see the estimate totals. This is going to show you the total number of messages, not the total cost. But I'll show you how to convert the total number of messages to a cost estimate at the end. The first step is we need to choose what type of estimation we want to do. We have two options here. And we have two options here. We can use the default option, which is to do an estimate that's based off of telemetry data and assumptions. Or you can do an estimate that's based off of all of your manual entries. So you'll have more to fill out this way because you'll have to get really granular and spell out all of the different type of knowledge and actions and all of that. I'm going to select the option to use common telemetry data and assumptions because I think that's what's really cool about this particular estimator is it can use that proprietary telemetry data and knowledge to be able to factor in that inner estimate. Then we need to tell the estimator what type of traffic we expect to get to this particular agent. So I'm building an HR onboarding agent and that will need to be used by every employee in the company. So in this scenario, let's say we're a 500 person company and we know this agent will need to be used by every single person in the company. So we're going to say there's going to be 500 users and then we need to estimate about on average how many times per month the users will interact with this agent. So let's say maybe 10 times a month we expect people to interact. And all of these estimates that we're seeing that are going to be given to us are a monthly estimate. So keep that in mind as we go through the tool. Now we need to figure out what type of agent are we building? We could either build an employee facing agent or an agent that is customer or partner facing. For our onboarding scenario, that's clearly an employee facing agent scenario. So I'm going to choose that option here. And as we fill out each of these inputs, you'll see more fields come up that we have to fill in. So the next thing you'll notice is it's asking us if we have any users that have Microsoft 365 Copilot licenses. Now, why is this important? Well, if you do have Microsoft 365 Copilot licenses, there are a few things that are called zero rated, meaning you don't get double taxed or charged for having a Microsoft 365 Copilot license and also having to pay for that message consumption in the Copilot Studio agents that you built. So it will factor that in in the estimation and reduce the total messages based off of how many Microsoft 365 Copilot licenses that you have. So we do have a few users that have that. So I'm going to say yes. And we'll say maybe half of our users, so 250, have those Microsoft 365 Copilot licenses. Now we need to tell it what type of orchestration we plan to use for the agent. There are two main modes that we can use for agent orchestration. And this all comes down to how we want the agent to be able to respond to our users and perform tasks. We could go the classic mode, which would be up to us to use topics to define when certain things are called and when actions are performed. Or we could go the generative mode of orchestration, which uses AI to dynamically know when to call certain knowledge sources and actions and all of that. So you do need to know which one of those you plan to use before running through the estimator to get a correct estimate because that does have an impact on your message consumption. I'm going to select generative here. And now we need to go into the knowledge of our agent. We need to put in a number value of the percentage of responses that we expect to be from knowledge. So when we're interacting with agents, it could be returning data from knowledge sources or it could be performing actions. So I'm gonna say I expect maybe 60% of the responses to be from knowledge. And then we need to also specify what percentage of the responses will be from tenant graph grounding. So maybe 40 from that. And as we fill that in, the all other knowledge and the actions percentage are automatically calculated because we're using that based off of the common trends and data estimator type. 
Now we'll go into the actions and topic sections. This is where we need to tell it, are we planning to use any agent flows? So we can extend our agents with agent flows to be able to perform more actions and tasks, but those do have an impact on message consumption. So we need to tell it if we plan to use any of those. So I'll say, yes, we're going to use two agent flows in this particular agent, and those might run five times per month. Our agents can also run autonomously, which will impact message consumption. So now we need to tell it how many triggers we're going to have in our agent. So I'll just say one. And as we fill that in, we have some more inputs that we need to define to go into the details of that particular trigger. So we need to say how often we expect the trigger to occur. So maybe eight times a month, whether or not it's going to use the deep reasoning feature of agents, we'll say no for this. And how many agent actions this will use and how many of those are agent flows, if any. So I'll just do one and one there. And the last thing that the estimator will take into account is if you're using any prompt tools. So if I say yes here, I can specify if I'm using any of the basic standard or premium models to add prompts into my agent and how many of those and how often they'll be triggered. So I'll say I'm going to have maybe two standard prompts and those will be triggered five times a month. Now that I have everything filled out, we should have an estimate on the right-hand side if I scroll back up. And there you go. It looks like the total estimated messages for this particular agent scenario is about 33,884. And I have a breakdown for each specific section. So I'm able to tell based off of the choices I said for knowledge, how many of these messages are coming from tenant graph grounding and specifically how those are calculated and how many are from non-tenant graph grounding, I can see the details about the actions and topics and what the impact of agent flows is versus regular actions and topics, the autonomous capability and what that's costing me about 93 messages and the prompts as well. So not only is this giving me a really good estimate, I can use it as a pre-planning tool as well. So maybe I don't really need to use a standard prompt. As I think about it more, I could use a basic prompt. I could change this estimate here. I can remove those values and say instead I'm going to use two basic prompts and those will be about five times a month. And I can see what that will bring my total messages down to. Now I mentioned this isn't going to give you an actual cost estimate, but we can figure that out pretty easily. If you look at this message here in the upper left hand corner, it's going to let you know that one message is equivalent to a penny in US dollars. And if you're using a different currency, you can use any currency converter or the one that's linked to here and just put in a penny US dollars and convert that to whatever currency that you're using and take that amount and just multiply it by your message total. So when I do that for our scenario here in US dollars, that would be equivalent to about $338 per month to be able to run this particular agent scenario. So I hope this is a tool that's going to be valuable for you all as you plan out your agent rollouts. And if you have any feedback at all for the tool and what could be done to improve it, I would love to hear that in the comments. So drop a note and let me know what you think there. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.